What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, your boy Sohan, and today I'm reviewing uh, the Molding Paste by Forte Series. I've already done the review on the Texture Clay by Forte Series, so if you haven't seen that video, you're gonna wanna check that one out. But this one, in recap, is more of a wax oil-based. This one is a water-based, more pliable hold, I would say. But we're gonna find out exactly how this product performs and works. So if that's something you're interested in, then you're gonna wanna stick around, but we're gonna get started right now. I see your full potential, full potential. If you want me like I want you, like I want you. Tell me, girl, then what's the problem? What's the problem? I'm so tired of playing games. All right, guys, so first things first is the packaging. Most of the products like that come in this type of container shape, come in the package like this. It comes in two and a half ounces, so you get a decent amount of product. And first thing I noticed is the all black packaging, which is so sick. The reason why I like this is because if you look at this one, it's got a translucent black top, which is, this looks good too. But one thing I already noticed is this is two and a half ounces. This is 3.4 ounces, so already a difference in sizes right off the bat. But I do like the new packaging. I like the all black. I like everything all black. It looks way sicker and yeah, with it. Once we're in the top, oh, I still have this on there. It looks like this nice white cream. You can already see I did one like scoop test just to see. I was so excited when I got it that I just wanted to scoop it. The scent is like a sweet, like almost like a sweet candle, like candy a little bit, but it's not too strong at all. It's very light, but it's very pleasant. I really like it. They upgraded the scent for sure from the texture clay. This one is by far superior to the other product. So the other product, the texture clay, I didn't really like it because the scoopability was like really fried in my opinion. I just didn't like it, it was too hard. And a product should not be that difficult to scoop out. And so this one, we're gonna test it right now with you guys on camera. It's so much more airy and soft. It's more like a cloud texture. And I really like that a lot, which means I think it's gonna be very spongy really soft going through the hair. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna like this. This product is water-based, so it will wash out with just water. Again, it's a big bonus for me because the last product was a wax oil-based, so it took a little bit more extra effort in order to wash that piece out. And already, the scoopability of this product is significantly better than the other one, so in my opinion, I really like this product way more than the texture clay that they produced. All right, guys, you already know the deal. I'm gonna get my hair set, I'm gonna blow dry, get it all in place, then we're gonna run the product through, see how the texture looks, see See how the hold works, see how the whole you know style is all put together using this product, and uh, yeah, let's get it, baby. All right, guys, so everything is in place. I did just get out of the shower, so my hair is basically a blank canvas, nothing's in there, all just blow dried. There's no pre style, none of that stuff. I just want to show you guys how this product works in my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop a little bit out. So the breakdown of this product is very easy, very soft, like like a, a thicker lotion. I think I took a decent amount of product. This is what it looks like, all white. Uh, I think I broke it down, warmed it up a decent amount. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and now apply it to my hair. I'm gonna work my way from the back forward. You already know. And let's get into it. So applying it to the hair, super soft, super easy. No tug and pull. Very light, very airy, and I can already tell just by the way it breaks down, the way that it's going through my hair, that it's not going to be like a super strong hold, but it's going to be like pretty flexible where you can run your hands through it, no problem, which for me is a bonus because that's just how I do it. I just want it to be more relaxed. I don't need it to be like super strong in place because, I mean, no matter how strong a product you use, it, it'll probably be worn down throughout the day anyway, so I like that more relaxed look, more of a nice... Look at that texture though, look at it already. Straight up in the front, looks nice. So I'm just trying to get all the product in. Make sure you take the excess on your hands and just rub it through the sides so you can keep all the sides down and tight. I did just get a haircut so it looks so much better already. Easy to style, super easy to style. So much texture already. So with this hairstyle, I kind of did it more of like a slick backward because it's not a super thick product in general, so I think it's better for like a more slicked back type of look. But it's still matte and still got a lot of texture to it a lot. So you can see nice separation in the hair, good matte finish, very airy, very light, like it's still pretty bouncy when I do this. It's not gonna hold like extremely hard, but like I think for someone that's got like a medium length or even like someone with thin hair, or even coarse hair, like for someone with thin hair, it'll like make it more clumpy, so it'll look a lot more fuller. But like for someone with thick hair, if you're looking for like more of like a 
relaxed kind of look, but looking for a high texture, a nice matte finish, but an also easy application. For me, when I'm comparing it to the texture clay, it like blows the texture clay out of the water, I think, just because all factors considered, it's easier to scoop out, it's easier to go through the hair, it's more of an airy, light finish. It's got the matte, it's got the texture, and the scent is, I think it's significantly better than the other one for sure. Anyway, if this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're brand new, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.